What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Let me be the first to welcome you to NXT3, and what a way to kick it off a Young Lions Championship match. On this corner, we have the challenger, Xavier Woods. And from this corner, he is the Young Lions Champion himself. He is NXT's Sammy Zayn. Come on, raise your hand, Sammy Zayn. Raise your hand. There, you, there we go. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's not that hard to do with that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll tell you what it is. But welcome to NXT3. What a way to kick it off. Sami Zayn, Xavier Woods. Sami Zayn, you know, got a chance to speak to him before the match. Still feeling the effects of that, of his first ever Elimination Chamber, which happened last, uh, this, well, last Sunday, this past Sunday, at the sub pay per view. King so close to winning. King so close to eliminating everybody. Eliminate all the members of the Shield. Eliminated Mr. Money in the Bank Cesaro. Couldn't come close though to eliminating the man known as. Yeah, that's right. The man known as Dolph Ziggler. Right, but tonight, Xavier Woods, who's been loud mouthing and talking and dragging and doing all this stuff, gets a chance here tonight. Since tonight is the night him and Big E take over NXT, it's time for this, uh, for this takeover of theirs to happen. And uh, they don't have a third member, which makes me question Biggie and Xavier Woods are saying there will be a new day around here in the WWE. Hopefully it's not them dancing around like Xavier Woods was just doing right now. Xavier Woods coming after Sami Zayn. DDT on the outside. Extreme Rules lifestyle. This kind of matchup right here, man. NXT 3, you know, not looking like the most craziest card, but tell me something. You can't judge a book by a cover, can you, bitch? And this is exactly what you can't do here tonight with these guys. Xavier Woods hungry, ready to get a title. 
says he's been put down, and that's only because of the uh, same, same thing I was talking about, the color, uh, you know, the, yeah, exactly. Xavier Woods and Biggie Langston have formed together, and, you know, they're ready to take over NXT. They're ready to start getting together, build that chemistry it takes for a team, you know, here in, in the WWE. As the new day will be arriving soon, according to Xavier Woods. It could be here tonight, if anything, or if any chance like this. Now, they haven't hinted at what, you know, why here, why, but you kind of hit, you kind of, uh, kind of assume when you start assuming you start making an man ass out of you and me so <laughs> you can't assume what's going to happen here as xavier woods definitely dominating that sammy zane maybe sammy zane is feeling the effects of that uh oh, that's a nice kick right there by xavier woods maybe sammy zane is feeling the effects from this past sunday in the elimination chamber because he took out five man he took out five men and not any, but he took out an impressive list of people, man. He took out the shield. No, he took out four men. Sorry, took out four. Took out four. He took out Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Mr. Money in the Bank Cesaro. And I can't stress that enough. By God, he's just an NXT rookie with the Young Lions Championship. Now, I'm not going to go out there and say anything, but give this man an NXT Championship match. You know, uh, a lot of people feel he could have deserved it right after that. He should have been the number one contender, not Adam Rose. A lot of things been going on. I'll talk more about that later when the match comes and goes. But here comes Xavier Woods looking for the rope, looking for the win, looking for the win. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, I thought we were about to have a new champion right there in Xavier Woods. Tonight could be the last night for Sammy Dana as champion if Xavier Woods continues this uh, onslaught that he's doing. Technical difficulties, a little glitches here and there because the Xbox is kind of like whatever to me. But welcome back. I'm just getting out again. Little blah, blah, blah. Fuck it, man. NXT 3, where anything is possible. Sami Zayn could be on the verge of losing this title, man, here tonight. Big Xavier Wood continues his uh, onslaught that he's been doing, but here comes Sami Zayn. This is what I love to see about Sami Zayn, that he will fight back, and he will fight you with the best of his abilities, and he will not stop. Here comes Sami Zayn. Watch himself. Oh, but Xavier Wood's smart enough to do it, man. But they don't tell you much about this. Is a well-educated man right here. And Xavier Woods, a freaking doctor, man. But he decides to be a freaking wrestler. Xavier Woods, very smart, very tactical. And that's something you got to be very afraid of, man, with Xavier Woods. And his voice is loud. And it's scary, man. This guy can put it all together, become a Young Lions champion, man. I think he, the sky is the limit for him. And uh, the, only, the only thing I have is the problem with him is, you know, tries to put other people down and you don't do that kind of stuff you're not that you shouldn't be that kind of person but Xavier Woods trying to put people down just because he has a PhD and well spoken has all these things like Sami Zayn with a freaking oh baby oh come on Sami Zayn with the swanton bomb but here comes Sami and oh Xavier Woods what did I tell you this guy's a goddamn uh, he's, he's good there in the ring too knows exactly what he has to do Xavier Woods throwing Mr. Sami Zayn jumps right over him. Xavier Woods over Sami yet again. And here comes Xavier Woods with the neck breaker right there. But Sami Zayn still keeping himself up here. Knows that he can't lay on the ground one bit. Or Xavier Woods would capitalize. Xavier Woods quick, also quick on his feet. Xavier Woods a very young, good talent to scout. And look at this fly body right there by Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods looking for the win right here. Looking for the new championship. No. Sami Zayn still able to give you a good fight here. And remember, extreme rules, but these guys have not gone for that weapon yet. They have not been going out there, and they need to go out there because that's the way you're going to win this. You have that advantage to you. Sami Zayn, I believe, could be the craziest if he gets a weapon, man. He's going out there. This man could be very crazy. He's getting himself a table. Xavier Woods seeing that. Xavier Woods going high risk. And oh, God damn. That is not. Okay, he has a PhD, but that was not the smartest thing to do. Not the smartest thing to do by Xavier Woods. And here we go, Xavier Woods and Sami Zayn just sprawling out there. Xavier Woods taking the freaking crush. I think that fan can send. No, I guess he can. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. He can jump. He had a broken leg two seconds ago. Lost his crutch. Xavier Woods let him walk. And then Sami Zayn says, I'm not getting hit anymore by that crap. And there's a drop kick right there. Sami Zayn. Look at Sami. This guy is a skilled general in that ring. This guy's got skills everywhere. And the fact that he can move so fast is also pretty dangerous. Xavier Woods, you better watch yourself, man, because I think he's sizing you up. Sizing you up for that table. Holy shit. Okay. We are about to see Sami Zayn. That is crazy. Oh, he dodged it. Xavier Woods gets rid of the table. How? How? It's because he's a freaking doctor. That's why. Xavier Woods turning the tide on Sami Zayn. Woods throwing Zayn over there. 
Xavier Woods dropping. Look at this. Slaying a beatdown on Sami Zayn. The Young Lions champion in, in danger right here of uh, falling down. And Xavier Woods taking the table inside. Sees it. There comes Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn with that quick speed. Look at this quick speed and drop. Xavier Woods right there. So a little reckless move right there by Sami Zayn. As Sami Zayn and Xavier Woods are battling it out here in this ring. Here comes Sami. Sammy's going high risk. Sammy went high risk yet again. It didn't pay off because Xavier Woods was ready and ready to go. And look at this. Look at Zane. Oh, baby. He's got him. This is exactly how he made a couple of the members of the Shield tap out this past Sunday. He's got Xavier Woods. Oh, baby. Oh, it's over. It's over. Call it. Referee, you got to call it. This is it. Ref. It's over, man. No, Xavier Woods has not tapped out yet. Sammy Zane applying as much pressure as he can. But it's not over yet. Xavier Woods able to kick out. I think he, he knows that tonight's mat, this match is a big, strong message to everybody who doesn't believe in the cause of the New Day. And Xavier Woods popping him in the gut. Woods, you better capitalize on this. Xavier Woods coming at you at the speed of light, speed of sound. Speed of everything. Xavier Woods with the funky, oh, the funky punches. Look at this right here. Because he's not all about show. Just tell me that's not about show. Xavier Woods looking for the championship. Looking for his moment. No, not yet. Looking for his NXT moment right here tonight against Sami Zayn. Looking to make that name for himself here against Sami. Look at now Sami Zayn's like, okay, we're going to do this my way and or no way. Zayn, look at this. Look at this man. This well-traveled journey man. Knows exactly what to do. Get him with that little stunner like that right there. Lay his ass out. Pinfall right here. This could be the win right one, two. And Xavier Woods kicks out. And Woods brings down Zane. Zane, you better watch yourself, man. A kick out right there by Sami Zane. Survives right there. Survives it. Survive it, Zane. That's all you got to do here. Zane dropping Xavier Woods. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Xavier, this is not going to be good. Look at this power bomb. Holy moly! That was a power bomb, and this—I don't even know what the hell that is, but it's beautiful. And Sami Zayn right now has all the momentum in the world. Sami Zayn, he's like, okay, watch this. Here we go. Zayn, oh yes, a freaking leg drop to the outside. Sami Zayn has gone wild, and you can't stop him. Sami Zayn dropping Woods. And that's exactly why Sami Zayn is one of the best talents in NXT. Able to just pull that out of nowhere. And this could be the end for Xavier Woods. And I, th I think it is, man. Woods going back down. Sami Zayn's like, I brought a table out for you people. And you people are going to get it. And I think we're going to get it. Yep, we're going to get it. Woods in trouble. Zayn setting him up here. Sami Zayn's like, let's go. And oh, he went through the freaking table. Xavier Woods like, went through a table. Guess what? I got you now. Zayn, oh no. Oh no. 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 One. Two. And a kick out by Sami Zayn. And Xavier Woods telling the referee that's racist. What? How? Woods just, okay. Xavier Woods. Still in disbelief. I think it's just something that he didn't believe that Sami Zayn was able to kick out of that. Zayn, let's hop out another submission. Let's get you going here. He's like, let's get you going. Let's make you tap out. Xavier Woods, though, holding for dear life right here. Don't let him pass out. Sami Zayn's like, shit. Sami Zayn doesn't know exactly what to do anymore. He's like, I don't know how to finish him. This guy is just too good. Both these young kids. Powering an hour and a kick like that might just help the situation out. Pinfall. One, two, and a kick out by Xavier Woods, man. What's it gonna take to take out Xavier Woods as we see him? Now Woods going high risk. Woods also very athletic and that leg drop though. Pulls the leg back and goes like, yep. One, two. And a kick out by Sami Zayn, but watch out with Xavier Woods. He can pull off those high athletic moves as well. And you don't stop a guy like Xavier Woods so easily. Coming with the punches. I don't know if I like the chances for Mr. Zayn. 
Big time punch knocks him out. Oh, God, man. Xavier Woods, like, time to morph this. Go, go, Power Rangers. The morphing punch. Oh, baby, Zane in trouble. God damn it. Xavier Woods primed. Xavier Woods has. No, yeah. Has not done it. Sammy Zane in stealing it. What's it going to take, man? What's it going to take? I don't know. That's. Oh, Zane was going for his finisher. And. Oh, no. Not in the center of the ring. Eat the feet. Is this it? Is this it? One, two, three. Xavier Woods has done it. Xavier Woods is your new Young Lions champion. I am shocked. I'm literally shocked. I thought Sami Zayn would have pulled it off somehow, find a way. Xavier Woods does it. Xavier Woods has defeated Sami Zayn, and he is now the Young Lions champion. And if Big E can retain against Adam Rose, I hate to see what's going to be coming in NXT's way with Xavier Woods and Big E. But Xavier Woods, congratulations. You deserve it, man. I'm not going to take that away from him. I'm not going to take it away because he did deserve this. He was able to withstand two gruesome submission moves by two two of uh, Sami Zayn's submissions. The, the ones that make any normal man tap out. Xavier Woods came up clutch tonight. And he came out ready to fight. He came out ready to prove something. And that's what he's proving tonight. He is the Young Lions champion. So, just remember, this is the first match of the night. Up next, the WWE European Championship on the line. As last week, NXT star Rusev took it away from WWE superstar Ted DiBiase. Tonight, Rusev, DiBiase, the rematch. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Rusev make his way out here already. Oh here we go. Rusev. First time we're seeing him with the European Championship walking out here. Let's see how he looks. Oh dear God. Had a chance to speak to them before the match. Lana said that the European Championship finally has the European it needs to be the champion. Said that Drew McIntyre and Wade Barrett were not true Europeans. They were a, a Scot, a Scottish man and an Englishman who Lana doesn't believe in them. Lana believes they are brainwashed by the Western culture, which is America. And the night Ted DiBiase, oh, we'll see if he can take it down. Lana has some things to say about Ted. I can't repeat it on TV because we are PG. And I like to stand by the fact that we are a PG show because at the end of the day, all we have to life is a, that we could be a fucking PG TV show. That's it. And yes, I like to use that running joke over and over again. That's the one thing about my channel. That's the running joke. Everybody has a running joke. Why can't I have a fucking running joke? I don't know. Shoot. I thought I could. All right. So we're not going to see this because the entrance is not that great. But Ted DB awesome, man. I got a chance to speak to him. He says he's ready to retain the title. He says he knows it's uh, going to be a fight, but he wants a chance to retain his championship. But we'll see what happens here at NXT three. And remember, this is a preview of we could what we could possibly see at NXT 
versus WWE this Sunday. Yes, I have not I have not endorsed that yet. I so I need to endorse it. I am being told by the monkeys in my headset endorse it. Endorse it now. Go, 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 go. Throw it out there because people need to know about this. NXT versus WWE. Now the card won't come out. Till, well, the card's already been done, but I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. I'll tell you that until main event. Main event, you'll be able to see the card that I will have uh, made for NXT versus WWE. That's why we have NXT 3 on a normal episode of NXT because of that event right there. But I can tell you, it's going to be some fun stuff here and there. And uh, what I'm hearing from our general manager, oh, from what I'm hearing from general manager JBL, it's going to have some debuts of NXT stars that people have been waiting to see. You know they're assigned to us. We're just waiting to unleash them. And they will be unleashed at NXT versus WWE. NXT trying to make sure it makes a big bang against the big brother WWE. But here we go as we see Ru Rusev in danger right here. And now here comes Rusev. Oh, shoot. This is what you don't want to see about Rusev. Uh, you know, the question is, you know, how fast is Rusev's match going to be? That's the question now. Ted DiBiase, good, good kid, good star, man. The son of a WWE Hall of Famer. But Rusev has really been impressive. It doesn't take anyone lightly. He just comes out here and destroys whatever whatever he has. And that's what that's what makes him different from others. Other than kid on this winning streak like this. And then they have that one match where they take that person lightly. And that's when they start losing. But Rusev, you know, comes into a focus, brings his whole A game, brings everything. The reason why he's called a super athlete, because he is a super athlete, and he's doing it. And now, I think right now, I think it could be time for the end of it. That kick right there could pop your jaw out. And Rusev's like, let's get him done. Rusev, look at the strength of Rusev. By God, Rusev's crush. Rusev's going to crush, man. Lana still has not yelled crush. So, until she screams that, this match isn't over. Rusev just doing his thing right now. Just look at this. This is just not even right. Ted DiBiase, a WWE star for a reason because he can hang with the big boys, but I don't know if he's hanging with Rusev. Rusev, an NXT star who's supposed to be inferior to him, proving that, hey, that's not what it is. And look at Rusev, man. <laughs> I don't know what the hell to say about that, but that was impressive. That was how you do it. Look at Rusev delivering kicks, and you got to be scared of this, man. Oh! I'm more right now loving this as a fan, but I'm not loving bit that's happening at Ted DiBiase. But look at the strength of Rusev. My God. And Lana's yelling at Crush. Rusev will be crushing Ted DiBiase with the accolade. And DiBiase tapping out. This match was never a match. It's over. Rusev proving to the ex-champion that, hey, your win was pointless and meaningless. I am the European champion. I am the man that, Rus that Euro Europe should have defending it. By God, what a win, though, for uh, Rusev yet again. Rusev on a hot streak. And if he can continue this, who knows where he can be at the end of NXT. What I hear is Rusev will have a match at NXT the first WWE. I hear that, but I don't know. I've, and from what I'm hearing, it's going to be a big one. But we'll see if it does happen or if it doesn't happen. Either way, I'm I'm ready. I'm excited about this. But as NXT 3 goes along, we've already had a one great starting matchup. We have had this dominant matchup of Arusa just coming out here and proving to the world that hey, he's Arusa. And he is the European champion. Another defense. Again, remember, Arusa has to defend that championship every single week. So now I, I don't know what JBL is planning. If WWE Superstars are going to be coming here, Arusa is going to be going over there. But that should be a fun sight to see. Will Rusev be defending that championship here on NXT next week? Or will he be defending on the WWE show? We have seen a couple of NXT stars go to WWE shows just to have a fight here or there. But will we be seeing that? Or will Rusev be telling you come to NXT if you want a chance or not? I'll give it to an NXT guy. We'll see what happens. As Rusev putting his hand up, and the next match will go on. Head first, it is what it is. Here comes the WWE's anti diva Paige, and I man, I was so excited to hear this match would have had it was gonna have Paige as the special guest referee. 
And this is because Summer Rae ran her mouth off backstage about how no one's going to be able to beat her and that Paige has had chances. Oh, dear God, did you hear that scream? She was running her mouth backstage to Paige telling you're never going to get a chance at my title. You're never going to get anything. And that's just the way it's going to be. And then Naomi came back and was like, you know what? I'm going to beat you. And that's why she'll never get a chance at it because I'm going to be the champion. Paige was back there. And out of nowhere, JBL came out and said, hey, you know what? I feel like you three should be the main event for the women at NXT. And I'm going to have that happen, but not in a th triple threat match, a special guest referee match. And that special guest referee match is right here. There's Summer Rae coming out here. The NXT Women's Champion will take on Naomi. Now, this is the third uh, title defense of hers. She's being, she's being uh, Bailey and Emma. She's been both of them for that chance when that title's been on the line. And tonight's Naomi. Now the question, everybody thought the third match that tonight this match would have been paid against Summer Rae. I thought that it was what's going to happen. NXT 3 is going to happen. Now the question is, can Paige even get there? Because every time she's given a chance at it, she has not been able to capitalize. But every time Paige has a match, she is dangerous. But here, let's just, just focus on this matchup right here. I'm dreaming in a world that I shouldn't be dreaming because it's not happening. What we're getting is Naomi versus Summer Rae. And that's what we're going to get. And I feel that's what we deserve right now. We need to focus on Naomi. Naomi is going to walk into this ring against Summer Rae, a very confident diva. Naomi herself, very confident and very skilled in that ring, very athletic. And I don't think Summer Rae has met someone like Naomi. Naomi can come at you fast like a lightning bolt. No disrespect to Bailey or Emma. Naomi just has hops. She can attack you from wherever she wants. She can do so much in that ring. And Summer Rae is going to have her hands full. She's not going to be just facing any kind of lady here tonight. This is a lady that can move around the ring. She can run it. She can jump it. She's very athletic. And that, I think, could be a problem for Summer Rae. Big problem right there. And I'm thinking a problem that the championship will be changing hands tonight. That's my that's my guess here tonight. I'm saying Naomi takes the championship away, but we'll see what happens as Paige is the the uh, um, the referee. Uh, this has got to be a grueling moment right here for Paige. But here comes the challenger and the champion. This is for the NXT Women's Championship, and she is the challenger, Naomi. And the champion, the NXT Women's Champion, Summer A. And here we go. Paige, this has got to be a moment that Paige is not happy about. But, you know, this is the championship she wants. She wants to be the Women's champ. And look at that. Can you not imagine seeing that as a future site right there? But for tonight, we're going to see Naomi and Summer A battle it out. And the question is... How fair will Paige be? Will Paige be on one side or what? That's the question always in a special guest referee match. You know, what is going to be the abuse of power? And Summer Rae's telling Naomi, come on, slap me. And Naomi's like, okay, I'll kick you. How about that? And Naomi's going to start off strong. I'm telling you, this is exactly what she needs. Start off strong against Summer Rae and beat her. You know this is what you want. Look at Naomi. I'm telling you, very athletic in that ring. Jumping over and look at Paige making the quick count right, making the right to it, and she's like, ah, uh, yeah. And look at Naomi. I told you, you gotta watch out with Naomi. Naomi knows though. She's got a lot more problems here than uh, Summer Rae. She's had Cameron talk trash, and Cameron even says she might make a little appearance here tonight and cost Naomi the championship. And that kicked to the side of the head. That is why Summer Rae has been very deadly though. Remember, Summer Rae has come into this ring and defended the championship well, and uh, she's not gonna just let it go that easily. As Summer Rae delivers the drop kick right there to Naomi. The Women's Championship is on the line. And look at Summer. Summer's trying to choke the life out of uh, Naomi right here. Paige telling her, come on, you got you to gotta hold back on that. And Summer's like, stand back. I'm the champion. You're not. And look at Summer. She's got Naomi. Naomi going over there. And oh, come on. That's a freaking clothesline. And Naomi's like, here we go. Clothesline again. Naomi again showing that the likability of herself. 
And she's going to do what's best for herself in this match. And that's a bulldog right there. She needs that champion. She knows she wants to be a champion. That's what you got to love about Naomi. She wants to be a champion. She's not just here because she wants the fame, the glamour, the chance to travel the world. No, no. She's here because she wants to be a champion. And she feeds on it. She needs to be a champion. And the longer you keep her away, the more hungrier and more deadlier she becomes in that ring. And that's what I love about Naomi. She's got that passion. And, oh, you missed it. And look at Summer. She's like, oh, yeah, see, I don't see her being anything right here. I'm just going to take my time. Summer all. Oh. Summer said it's going to be Summer all the time as long as she's the champion. And that era is going to be here. Remember, Summer's usually about, what, three months? So that time is already up reaching. So this could be her three-month end right here. This could be the end of Summer. It's time to turn the page. Oh, you see what I did there? So we can have Naomi. Okay, Naomi's not a... Well, oh, God damn, that's a power bomb right there. It's a nice little power bomb. I'll give you that much. And there's a hit right to the face of Naomi. Summer right definitely making this her match right here. And look at that leg drop right there. This could be the end. Come with me now. Summer Rae definitely looking to put the end. Oh, God. No, 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 no. And look at this. Oh, yes, missed it. Missed it. Oh, there it is. As Naomi able to counter that. And guess she has the Russian Lexi going. And Naomi definitely, look at her, just going to kick the back of Summer Rae. Paige allowing that. Hey, why not? I didn't know that was illegal. And look at, oh, there's, uh, there's Summer right there running to her. Kicks her, slaps her face. I'm telling you, not what you want to see, but not what I want to see. But hey, it's what we see. DDT, though, by Summary. And she's giving everybody the loser sign. And I'm not a loser, but uh, go, oh, smack her head in the back of the head. And he kicks everywhere. And this is just not right, man. Come on. But the kick, oh, a counter in the back right here. And uh, Naomi, Bulldog. Paige has been very quiet and very calm. Now, I don't know if that's dangerous for Naomi or if that's good for Naomi. But, uh, you know, why not ever see... I wouldn't be surprised if I see Paige just attack some uh, Samurai. I wouldn't be surprised if I see Naomi with Samurai. And they beat up Paige. And they are... Look at this. That's, that's again, the athleticism of Naomi. Naomi's like, okay, now what do I? What can I do? She's telling Paige, okay, watch this, Paige. You're going to have to give me this one. And this kick right there, take down Summer. Slow motion, kick, pinfall. This could be our new champion, our new women's champion. No kick out right there by Summer Ray. The kick was going to have to be a little bit more dangerous than that. I'm not going to take it away anything, but look at that surprise right here by Summer Ray. And when you're as tall as Summer Ray, you can do whatever you want. Clothesline. Summer Rae going high risk. This is a new thing. Elbow on the heart of Naomi. This could be a one, two, and a kick out. Page count. Page is normally, yeah, a normal count for Summer Rae. And Summer Rae's telling her, you counting slow. You got to count faster. Summer Rae tries to go after Page. But she's like, I'm not going after you like that. I'm just, just running around the ring. And that legs again. Again, those legs are being used well by Summer Rae. Pinfall in the center of the ring. Naomi needs to figure out a way to get out of here. And kicks out again. And Summer's like, you're slow counting me. Paige's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not doing that at all. Look at Naomi. She's trying to make sure she gets another chance. This could be her last win right here. Naomi coming after her. Naomi, got her. Come on, Naomi. This is your chance. This is your time. You, you want to be the champion. You do it here. You do it now. Go high risk. Oh, I missed it, though. Oh no, Summer Rae's telling her, get up, I'm ready to put this one to bed. Oh no, no, not the end of, no, 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 oh, god damn, no. New woman's champion, no, I'm just kidding, the woman's champion still, Summer Rae, oh, kick out by Naomi. Naomi's chances are still alive here. And that's why I love to see it for this, the challenger, Naomi's still in this rare. Come on, Naomi, come on. And oh, come on, look at Summer Rae, comes out of nowhere. Snaps the neck right there. Now kicking Naomi while she's down. The women's championship on the line. And both these ladies know that everything's on the line. Yes! The big butt. The big boom. I don't know what we're going to call it. But Naomi has got it. Oh, come on. Summer Rae kicks out. A kick to the side of the head. A kick right there. Look, Come on. 
Come on, Naomi, fight back. This is what I love to see. The women are going at it, man. This is exactly what you need to do. Oh, I thought she was going for that clothesline, but guess what? Summer was like, I don't think so. Kicks her in the face. Look at this. this is just uh, telling her I'm better than you kind of kicks. Another kick. Another kick. I don't know what to say here. But don't get up. Don't get up. Come on. Good counter right there. Naomi, keep doing what you're doing. Naomi's got to figure out a way to get her right here. Resting in the corner. Taking a little rest right there. That's what you need to do. But you don't need to do that right now in this moment. Right? This is the moment where every little move is critical. And that kicked the head again. Naomi, look at her. She's laid out. This could be it. Another kick. How many of these kicks are she going gonna to do? Half leg Boston Crab for an insult to submission win. Naomi tapping out. I think the paint just got to her, man. This is just Summer Rae. Summer Rae is still your women's champion. Naomi, though, one hell of a fight from Naomi. Sadly, she did submit, but... It took three of those kicks to knock her out. And then right here, she just tapped out, I guess, from those kicks. Paige just thought that was what was best. And I guess it was what was best right there for her. As she's still a champion, summer is still going on, ladies and gentlemen. Paige attending to Naomi, telling her, you're okay. Like, literally, I'm sorry you had to call it off for you. You just got kicked three times in the head, and I don't know if you're okay. Like, it could be a very controversial call, but once you think about it, you know, Paige did end the match a little bit early. And they ended it earlier. Naomi, again, concussions here. Anything could be passable. Anything could be a reason. And Naomi could not be happy with Paige about that. We'll see. But Summer A is your women's champion still. And it keeps going. Summer all year long. You've lost to keep us to me. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that gravity forgot, Neville, Adrian Neville, ready to go at him in here in a six-man tag as he teams up with the Lucha Dragons. And this could be one hell of a match here as the Lucha Dragons take on Mason Ryan in the Ascension up next here on NXT. Three? Yeah, that's right, three. And I can't wait to see what happens, man. I'm ready for this. I'm paying money for this. I'm paying my butt to see this one. Are you ready? Am I ready? I don't even know if I'm ready. But I hopefully I am, because I want to call a good match and a good show, and I want to do right by the people. Get in, get in, get in, yo. Here, kabuyaka, kabuyaka, kabuyaka. I just get this because two of these are, uh, two of these are just uh, computers, so I don't know how it's gonna come out. And then there's gonna be Sinkar and Kalisto, the Lucha Dragons. Against the Ascension and Mason Ryan, and we did have a we do have a little bit of history between Adrian Evan and Mason Ryan. Well, last week actually, Adrian Evan and Mason Ryan faced off, and you know the good old story. Mason Ryan couldn't get over uh, Mr. Adrian Evan, and Mason Ryan has um been very pissed off lately because he w hasn't got a chance for his title. Uh, I don't think he deserves one. Uh, lost it, and that's usually the way it is. You lose the championship, that's it for you. You don't. Get anymore you don't get another fight you shouldn't get a fight 
Especially if you are so a loser about it like Mason Ryan. If Mason Ryan says, you know, it's these little guys that are pissing him off the most. Guys like Sammy Zane, guys like Adrian Ebel. And we'll see what happens. But here comes the Ascension. Oh, baby. Uh, and are, is Mason Ryan, are Mason Ryan and the Ascension going to defeat the Lucha Dragon and Adrian Ebel? That's the question here. But the Ascension now are ready to fight, man. The men from the wasteland ready to take it out of here, man. They would say they can survive anything that happens, man. You can bring the whole, you could drop the bombs from the sky and they'll still, they'll be ready for that war that comes out of it. And say guys like Lucha Dragons and Adrian Neville aren't ready for that kind of stuff. That, no, the NXT world isn't ready for the Ascension. And I gotta tell them, I don't think you're ready for the NXT world. I don't think you're right for this or for the WWE. You just gotta step your ass out of here. But it should be interesting to see his tag team right The Ascension. I'm about to have a straight out fight with the freaking this team right here. All out break. This is the fourth match on NXT. We have three, three more to go after this. We have the NXT Championship. We have the Tag Team Championships on the line. And then we have another match that I can't tell you about. And Adrian Neville and Mason Ryan ready to start this one off. And Neville just trying to pump himself up. Mason Ryan trying to go out there with a cheap shot. And I. I guess he got it though, but look at Mason Ryan delivering these socks so slow. And Adrian Neville very quick. Look at this. This is exactly the difference right here. This is why Adrian Neville is a class above Mason Ryan, even though he's never been an NXT champion here in my universe mode. But uh, here it comes Mason. Look at this yet again. Powerful punches. But look at Adrian Neville. Like, you know, just because I'm a little bit of a smaller guy doesn't mean I'm not powerful enough to do what I got to do. Adrian Neville going high risk. I told you. The man that gravity forgot. Oh, is never gonna forget about how he, how Mason Ryan put his knees up on him. It's a little scary, yeah. And Mason Ryan's telling him, "You want you want a piece of this?" He, oh, Mason Ryan's telling him, Victor, "You want pieces?" Okay. Mason Ryan's telling him, "Come on, go over there. I'm gonna tag you in. Get your ass in there. You wanted a piece of him. I'm gonna use you right here." And Victor coming in, close on. And the Victor's like, "I wanted a piece of Adrian now, but why not?" Dropping that right there, and Victor's still dropping here, man. Connor and Vic. And look at this take. That come on, man. This is just cheap right here. Cheap shots everywhere. Not the cake down right there. As do we see the Ascension is bringing it. Look at the Ascension, and Mason Ryan over there. They've cornered poor Adrian Eva. Adrian Eva should be the. Oh, Mason Ryan missed that punch right there, and. Connor, now Victor, telling you want it? Okay, come on. And now Adrian now just being thrown around like a freaking toy. And look at this clothesline. Like, what are we? Mason Ryan, the Ascension. Definitely, this could be a very dangerous team, man. This, I don't know why, but man, I feel a little bit that these guys could be a little faction waiting to happen. But Adrian Neville now needs to prove them wrong here. Adrian Neville now has control of this one. Neville. And look at Adrian quick. And the Lucha Dragons are like, let's get a tag going. Let's get a hat. Let's get a tag. I don't care who the tag comes to. Here comes Sin Cara. Sin Cara, who's found himself here in NXT. Finally getting what he needs. As Sin Cara going, doing what he needs to do. Oh, Sin Cara tries to go very high. It's not going to happen there. And Mason Ryan's like, yeah, see, Sin Cara, you're, you're reading. You're here. Mason Ryan and Sin Cara have had their taste of the WWE. They've had it. Mason Ryan had Oh. Except, but they found themselves here on NXT better, and that's usually what NXT could be great for. Finding, refining yourself, finding out who you are, what your style is, what you can do. And look at Mason taken down by Sin Cara. He's like, come on, let's go. Remember, Mason Ryan freaking was in at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania, he took on uh, Batista in a battle of who the real Batista was. Sin Cara was in the Money in the Bank match. Where he did very well, but unfortunately he didn't win. Spear! Who oh, Spear out of nowhere. Sin Cara kicks out, though, at two. Very scary Spear right there. Both. So I'm, what I'm trying to say is you know, you got to find yourself in these kind of situations. And these are two guys who, have, who are trying to refine themselves here. And I feel Mason Ryan has done a somewhat successful job. Another Spear again. He's done a somewhat successful uh, job here at NXT. He was NXT champion. But now here is the hard part. What do you do when you're not champion? What? How do you keep yourself in that spotlight where you're not the champion? And this is what's going on. He's here tonight, Mason Ryan. 
having this kind of battle. So let's see if he can keep himself in it. As for Sin Cara, you know, he's formed his tag team with Kalisto, and these are the Lucha Dragons. So Sin Cara open that is his uh, his new path, a tag team regime. But as you have the team of the Ascension who are trying to prove themselves here on NXT as well, it's kind of scary. As Sin Cara moonsaulting through Mason Ryan, it's like, get off me, you little guy. And so it's here it comes. A takedown right there of Sin Cara. And again, these guys are very powerful. The Ascension, are telling him, give us a piece of Sin Cara. We want him. We want him. And Mason Ryan's like, okay, I'll give you Connor. Get it, Connor. Connor the Barbarian. Connor the Destroyer. I don't know what you're going to want to call him, but you're going to want to call him just clotheslining Sin Cara right now. Sin Cara going down. As the Ascension ready to freaking just make up statement here. Last week it wasn't so pretty, but this week it might be even prettier as a power bomb just comes right into focus. And Connor's like, yeah, this guy can't stop me. And look at Connor. God damn, all both men are out of the ring. And I'm, I'm the Ascension. I'm coming out here to help him out. Punches everywhere. Kalista trying to get himself involved here. And I know Kalista's a nice guy here and there, but uh, you don't want to get yourself involved in this kind of thing. And that's why you don't want to get yourself involved. All out hell, all out break, all out everything. It's going out here. Sin Cara now has, oh, look at this. Look at Sin Cara powerbombing Victor. That's how you do it. And oh, takedown though. And look at, oh no, Connor. He's got Adrian Evo. Going high, flying high. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Oh dear God, this could be it. Look at Sin Cara. Look at the height. God damn it. Neville and Sin Cara down, but Kalisto trying to make the save, and he will make the save. As the Ascension looking very good right now against the Lucha Dragons and Adrian Elbow. Dominating this one exactly, and that's exactly what I thought they would do. And look at Connor telling me, yeah, I'm better than you. How does Sin Cara respond to this, man? That's how you do it. Get him going, man. Drops, tagging his tag team partner, Kali. So this is what you do when you're in a tag team. You f you rely on the other man. You put your faith in him. And that's what Kali is going to try to do right now. Try to tell him this is what you can do, man. You put your faith in me. I'm going to make it happen. And that's how you break. That's how you break a man's. That's how you break a man's freaking neck. Adrian Evold getting rid of Mason Ryan. But Victor, Victor's still there. But Kalisto's like, let's give him here. Let's give him hell. Come on, Pitfall. One. Oh, come on. Oh, dear God. Victor is a... Uh, Connor's still a beast, so that's the one thing about him. She don't stop. And look at this submission. He's trying to make him submit. But uh, look, at, look at the strength. Uh, or just put some baby oil on himself. And Kalisto. Kalisto's like, hey, Adrian, you ready? He's tagging in Adrian, and look at Connor. Like I need to get out of this one. Tagging in Mason. Here we go, the two man. And Mason's like, do you have guns like this? Adrian Neville was like, uh, no, I got a kick like this though. High risk. Look at that athletic ability of Adrian Neville. Adrian Neville was like, come on. I think what you're about to see is these two guys, the leader of their t the leader of these big teams. Going at uh, Adrian Neville, a little drowsy. Oh, right in front of the Ascension time. Come on, come on, come on. I know you guys want a piece of me, come on. Mason Ryan though, here we go. Mason Ryan gets back up and this is the dangerous part of my Mason Ryan. He can strike, he can attack. And that's how he attacks out of nowhere. Neville, come on man, you gotta find something here. Before Mason Ryan picks you up and gives you the end. Look at Adrian Neville trying his hardest, man. Trying his hardest to beat this man. A kick to the side of the head. Come on, Neville. This is it, man. This is your time. Kicks to the head. Adrian Neville's got him in the good position here. As you now have Mason Ryan and Adrian Neville bounding it out. And no, oh, the submission could be good for it. Oh, come on. Oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, Spirits in car yet again. Tag in. 
to Victor. Victor coming in now. The ascension. And look at look at Neville taking it out on ne taking it out. Definitely taking it out on Mason Ryan. But not paying attention. And that's Victor taking him down. And the pinfall. The ascension. The oh no! The ascension and Ryan win. Neville took his eye off the prize, took his eyes off the game. And Victor definitely makes that count, makes it, makes it and capitalizes on that moment. Adrian Neville is in disbelief right now. He's telling his team, I'm sorry. I mean, he's telling them, I'm sorry right now. Sin Cara and Kalisa are like, you know what happens? You're not going to win every match. They would have loved to have won this one, but, you know, you can't win them all. Right there, you he took out Mason Ryan. That was just, I think, him just getting, just not like, this is a little feud between Mason Ryan and Adrian Neville might continue. He's just telling him, I just don't like you one, no, not, not that at all. Adrian Neville beats him, and look at this. Look at the ascension, and they're telling him, come on, let's celebrate, man. Who said the heels don't win on big nights? A win for the Ascension and Mason Ryan. Could this be a little team right here? Look at them. The sizes on these guys, man. These guys are Vince McMahon kind of guys. champion the american wolves the wolves themselves it is eddie edwards on the left davy richards on the right are they ready to come out here and fight oh hell yeah they're ready to fight man this is gonna be good as they take on the five for the tag team championships the titles are on the line this is a fight that's been waiting and waiting and waiting and hey they have the tag team spotlight on them but what they need to realize is there's tag teams in the NXT that are ready to take those titles away. You've got Sin Cara and Kalisa we just watched. So we've got the Ascension. The FOB might actually be ready to take this title away from the Wolves. The Wolves have been champions for a while. So, see the existence of the tag teams. And here comes Tyler Breezy. Look in my eyes. What do you see? Tyler Breezy. Tyler Breeze, is he ready to be a tag team champion? That's the question. Not coming out with Fandango. A lot of people have been saying that, you know, he's been doing some rants that, but I don't know if that's true because I think he's more of a love, love to himself. And I can't skip this entrance, so I'm very sorry, guys, but I'm trying to skip it. Look at that. It's just a lot of highlighter color right there. Okay, there we go. But here comes the one we've all been waiting for. Ready? Ready to do the cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha. Da 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 Let's just fandangle. And here comes the NXT Women's Championship dancing. I didn't think she was. Uh, she still deserved this role, but she's coming out here dancing. And Summer Rae's dancing her heart out right here. For fun, Don Go. At the end of the day, man, why not? Why not watch Fan Don Go dance? As Fandango and Summer Rae Dance and doing the thing here, man, on NXT. The master of the dance, the master of the 6-1 dance. 
dancing on the way down to the ring, man. Could he be a future tag team champion? Could him and uh, Tyler Breeze be holding those tag team championships? I'm telling you, the Wolves are probably like, oh, I don't know, they're not going to hold our championships. Hell no. But again, you know, they might have these weird lenses like this, but when they get in that ring, they are very good. They are very skilled at what they can do. And you don't stop them. You don't even... You can contain them if you want. Go ahead and contain them, but it's going to be very tough to do that. But the Wolves, they've been champions. They've had other tag battles. They've had the Whites. That's the one thing I'm going to give about that to the Wolves. The Wolves earned those tag team championships by defeating the Whites. When no one else was crazy enough to take on the Whites, they took on the Whites, and they beat them, and they sent them packing from NXT. So what I'm saying is... The FOB have the number one contendership match, not just because, you know, they are they won a match. No, they have proven that they can contend with the Wolves. So the FOB, even though they have these little kind of strange and different and not scary entrances, good, and, you know, they're still dangerous. And again, that's been the story of the night here tonight. Do not judge a book by its cover. That's been do not judge his card by its cover. It's been a good show here for NXT three. And we're about to see how it gets even better with these guys tagging up against each other. Tyler Breeze and Eddie Edwards gonna start the match off. Eddie Edwards telling Tyler Breeze, don't you think here? And here comes here comes oh here comes Eddie Edwards. Yep, and, but Tyler Breeze quick moving quick man too. Whoa, 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 you just something you can't see me kind of punch. And Tyler Breeze definitely coming out of you. Missed him though. He's in all highlight colors. And Tyler Breeze, neck breaker. Dear God, Tyler Breeze like, yep, pay the piper, man. Tyler Breezy, elbow, one elbow, two elbows, uh oh, uh -oh. three elbows, uh oh, four elbows. Wait a second, five, oh, six. Eddie Edwards is definitely getting his chest burst. It's about to burst right now. Dear God, elbows out there. Elbows, I don't know if you have any more to go. Oh, come on. Elbows by Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze enjoying this right here. Enjoying the fact that he's got Eddie Edwards down. At the end of the day, that's all it is. And look at it. Look at it. Look how Fandango and Breeze teaming up on Edwards. And Richards is over there thinking like, shit, man. What did we get ourselves into? We, you know, we, we've had our holes before, so we can get out of this. And Edwards definitely now pulling his punches here. Edwards likes to go high risk. He's about to do it right now. Edwards saw that Summer Rae was coming through, and he had to jump that. He had to make that jump. But you know what? Unfortunately for him, fortunately for him, he was able to jump off before anything went wrong. So we've seen it before where they notice someone's coming through, and then they jump off, and they mess up. And Edwards, a, a craftsman of his game here. The Wolves definitely know that they have to get a, a tag going. Even if it's so early, so early in the match, if you have to get a tag going because... Uh, Eddie Edwards came in this match getting his ass whooped by Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze changing the game over here, and that's what you do in a tag team match. You change the pace like this. You tag your partner frequently. So you guys have it, and look at what the hell is. Look at the. Oh! The fob showing you a little son, son. Pinfire. This could be a win for them. Oh, Eddie Edwards definitely getting some save right there by Davey Richards. As Davey Richards makes a save for the Wolves right here. The championships are still alive here for the Wolves. But Fandango dancing his way, hoping to become an NXT champion. As Eddie Ward's going, out, oh, drop kick, do it live, man. And neckbreaker here. Eddie Edwards knows he's gonna have to be a little bit more now. Kick to the side of the head. A shoulder block right here. Another shoulder block. He knows that these shoulder blocks are gonna be the way they win. My balls are itchy. My balls are itchy. Ah. I'm bringing booty back. Lay one. Pinfall. Here we go. One, two. No, oh, come on. I thought this match was over here. And uh oh, Fandango. Summer. Bet. Oh, Summer. Oh, that's not going to be good. Fandango doesn't look amused at all. Sees that Summer went down, but Summer's okay, though. But Fandango was not happy at all that Eddie Edward would do that. I think Eddie just saw that as a mistake. And oh, so, uh, uh, Fandango looks pissed off. And Fandango going to hit this right here. Oh, he looks fabulous in this right here. Look at that shit. Look at Edwards down. And, oh, Tyler Breeze getting rid of Davey Richards. Leg drop. Oh, yes, Eddie Edwards gets out the way. Edwards knocks him out. 
as Richards and Breeze out there now battling each other. As now we have freaking Eddie Edwards trying to get himself in there. You've got to make the tag to your partner, man. You've got to make it no matter what. Make the tag to Davy Richards. I know you want to have the spotlight, but you guys aren't this. You got to come in together as the same team. Davy Richards now in the ring, and this is exactly what Eddie Edwards needed. Davy Richards coming in so he can take a little bit of a breather, take a little bit of a relax, because if you don't get that relaxation in a tag match, the team's going to suffer. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Kick to the side of that. Come on, man. Dave Rich is like, yeah, turn around. Turn around. Kick. Oh, yes. Here we go. Kick it. Kick him. Wolves. One, two, three. Whoop. Take that head off. Come on. Take the head off. Here we go. Whoa. Those kicks are taking the heads off of Fandango. But Fandango showing you, hey, I'm a little experienced too. As this tag team match keeps going here, back and forth the action. Uh, well, since uh, since Richards came in, it's a little bit more of back and forth. But uh, again, this is what the Fab do very well. They keep you on uh, the other error corner, and what they need to do. Oh, Edwards got distracted by Breeze, Young Breezy. Oh, I missed that one right there. Drop kick right here. I think he should really pay attention to Edwards because Edwards was a little dazed, but he got he gave him one hell of a kick right there. And telling Breeze, you want to make the, that tag? Edwards telling Breeze, you know what? You get in this ring with me because I am tired of you putting your hands on us. And Eddie Edwards is like over there like, I'm just resting up here, man. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break here on WWNXT. as the takedown right. Oh, no. 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 A neck breaker right there, definitely stopping the game right here. As you're definitely seeing the fact that the uh, that this team right here loves to showboat, and that could be a downfall for the FOB because uh, as we've seen before, you showboat, you go down. And oh wait, look at this hot tag! Oh Eddie, Davey Richards like bring him. Bring on, he gets taken down by Tyler Breeze. Young Breeze, he definitely taking everyone out. Taylor, Tyler Breeze, not Taylor, Tyler. Takes him out. Well, oh, Tyler Breeze, not a sick neck breaker, man. Sick neck breaker by the Prince of Pretty. Oh, oh Fandango took out the wrong man. Oh, yes, look at this. This is where the Wolves worked well. The wolves, the wolves are woo, work well right here. And now, here we go. These guys don't have those uh, quick tags, quick, but well, they're working here. And I like this. Watch this. Watch this. Waiting to catch him. Perfect pass. Perfect catch for that power bomb. Beautiful. Pinfall. The wolves. Oh, Tyler Breeze able to kick out, though. But again, showing you why the wolves are a very dangerous team. They are always on point, always on the same page. Oh, what of the heart of Tyler Breeze. And oh dear God, watch this. Stop it on his head. Tyler Breeze throws it. Pinfall. One, two, and a save by Fandango. Fandango with the save. Tyler Breeze, though, athletic man. Don't let the colors fool you. He can do things like this submission on oh, Eddie Edwards. Eddie Edwards able to kick out of it, though, able to get out of it somehow. And he finds his he finds a way out of it, and that's where he's dangerous. But uh, Tyler Breeze telling him, "I'm gonna get rid of him. Don't worry." Oh, wait, Eddie Edwards like, "Nope." How about this? I'm draw. Oh, he can't take him out with that. Come on, Eddie, you need to get this. Take him out, yes. Eddie Edwards going high risk. We've seen him before, high risk here. Stop him! Stop him out, man. This is it. Come on, this is your time. Do it. The champions about to do it. Powerbomb. Do it. Do it. And the Summer Ray distracting the referee. And oh, come on. And that's not how you win the championship, though, Tyler. You got to bring him back in here. Tyler Breeze, though, going to admire the fact that he gets a taunt. And Fondango bringing him back in here. And oh, come on, man. Shot to the gut right here. Tyler Breeze bringing him back. Eddie Edwards and the Prince of Pretty. Might be ready to put the end 
to these guys. And a clothesline right here. Takes down again, another clothesline. And oh, dodges that. Oh, super kick. Tyler Breeze, like Tyler Breeze, he don't play around. Tyler Breeze does this and gets you in his way. Neck breaker. And Tyler Breeze only has one thing to do, man, and that is set him up. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Look at that kick right there. The Prince of Pretty could have just been clutch right here. Could have just instrumented the win. But you know what? You did not take out Davey Richards, and that's where the, pro that's where the problem lies. you got to take out his tag team partner as well, or else you face the end of these guys. And look at this. Power bomb to the roll-up pin. Second time tonight. Second time. We'll have the same results. Summer Rae getting in the way. Moonsault misses it. Tagging in. Davy Richards. Come on, Davy. Put this thing to bed. Davy Richards, like, I got to do it for my team. If I don't do it now, no one else is going to do it. Kicks right here. Tyler Breeze down. Tyler Breeze down. Breeze, he could be out of here. Oh, no. Nick is in. Kick his head off. Kick his head off the fob. Kick to the side of the head. The fob on the verge of losing this. As the champions looking to get this. Davey turns him around. Davey Richards. Power. Oh, baby, that's it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, but the fan dangle makes the save. Oh, dear God. What's it going to take to take him out? The referee needs to get rid of some array. Come on. This is like the third time she's come into distraction. The Wolves definitely not liking this at all. Tyler Breeze kicks him on that. Oh, that was ugly. As the fob definitely bring it to the Wolves. The Wolves who worked so hard to become those ta the tag team champions, man. Having that trouble here with the fab. Come on, this is just... Come on, why are you going to taunt him like this, man? Fandango, though. Look at this. Watch what Fandango does. He does this. And there's one thing to do. There's only one thing for Fred Angle left to do. He's going to go high risk. Leg drop. Oh, misses the leg drop, though. He missed it. That could be something that comes back to bite him in the ass. That's going to bite him in the ass because look who's up. Davey Richards. He's got the cross bar. Oh, cross face. Cross face. Cross face. Tapping out. He's tapping out. Davey's like, we done it. We've done, we done it. Davey's like, I've done it. He's like, tell the ref, come on, ref. So the ref, ref, you got the referee's distracted, but Dave Rich is like, I've got this, man. Oh, and look at that! that should have been over. Fandango was tapping out. Summer Rae's been ejected though, so at least she's out of the picture. But the Wolves have hit, the Wolves have hit the Fab with everything, and luckily for the Fab, they've had distractions and distractions saving them. Here comes the tag to Tyler Breeze. Van Dangle telling me we're going to put him out of their misery here. Face first right there. Suplex. Front four. Front. The Wolves. The fans are not as opportunity. They're not as happy as they were earlier. But here come the Fab. Clean. Third. The Fab, lay him out. Oh, no, this is not going to be good, especially for if you're a Wolves fan. We could be seeing the end here. Fandango just laid him out right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Fandango, like, no more leg drops. I'm going to give him this. Fandango is going to give him, oh, no. The dance of death. The twist of death, the kiss of death. I don't know what you call it. Pinfall. Fan. Dangle is oh, that's Davey Richard with a save. Eddie Edwards was coming in though. He knew he, this was the time that you were going to have to make the save. And Eddie Davey's like, come on, Eddie, we got to get this one, man. He's like, I'm going high risk. Going to drop everything I got. Davey Richards. Davey Richards pulls it off. Oh, God, no. What's it going to take to beat the other team, man? 
then you know the titles are on the line. This is why they're battling it out because titles are on the line and titles are meant to be won. Fandango around thinking to himself, okay, I gotta give him something he doesn't wanna see. This has just been a fight for the tag team champions. The tag team champion, the tag team championships, and we're seeing it right here. Prince Pretty. Oh, as here comes Davy. Yep, that's exactly what I told you. You can't do this to Davy. Davy with the suplex. Davy open that to suplex to win the match. Oh, come on. Kick to the side of the head. Tyler Breeze is already uh, seeing his partner tap out. He could be the next one. This time he won't be. There will be no getting out of it. As Tyler Breeze setting up Davy Richards for a new champion. Oh no! Prince Pretty delivers. Prince Pretty doesn't realize it though. He's by the ropes. The rope break saves him. The rope break keeps the wolves alive. And these kicks, the sound of it could be the sound of the bell tolling for the end soon. Tyler Breeze, concussion. Davey Richards brings him down. Tyler Breeze, Tyler Breeze not gonna make it to the ropes. Oh, the rope saves him. Davey Richards telling himself, what the hell, man. Oh, did you just see that kick? Tyler Breeze, athletic ability displayed, but Davey Richards, like, I don't care about your talent. As Davey Richards brings him down yet again, Davey Richards knows that he needs to make the tag to his partner. He needs to give him everything he has. Poetry in motion here. Let's watch this right here. These guys make it look pretty. Gonna hurricanrana him up there. That's a super power bomb. That is pretty as pretty gets. A pinfall. This could be it. New champions. The champions will remain. The Wolves are kicked out by Tyler Breeze. I didn't see Fandango coming in at all, but that could have been it. Look at, look at Eddie Edwards, though. Eddie Edwards knows he has to come in here and close it out. Edwards, run it, man. Run it. Kick to the side of the head. Oh, come on. Come on. This is just dirty. Dirty eye poke right there. A kick to the face right there. As Tyler Breeze. Look at him just stomping out Eddie Edwards. Just stomping him out. Oh, come on. No, neck breaker. No, this is, this is not right. The fab. Come on, Eddie, come on. Eddie Edwards definitely trying to make sure he keeps his team alive here. Turn him around. DDT. Yes. Come on, Eddie. Come on. Fandango's not paying attention. Finish him. Oh, come on. Tyler Breeze gets out of the way. Tyler trying to pick him up. Eddie Edwards, hell no. Edwards, like, how about we give you this? Stop his head out. Come on. Stops him up. Looking like Seth Rollins down there. Oh, rope break. Come on, man. Come on, Edwards. You got to be very smart about what you're doing here. Edwards thrown out. Tyler Breeze telling him, bring him in here. He said, come on, Davey. Come on. Him, come on in this. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Tyler Breeze. Oh, dear God. Eddie, Eddie pay attention, man. Dirty eye poke. Pay attention, though, Edwards, because Tyler Breeze is looking to put you down. And that's how he's going to do it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no new tag team champions. Please, no new tag team champions. No, 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 no. No. The fab have done it. In a match that took about 20 minutes, the Wolves championship reign is over. The Fab have done it. They are now your tag team champions. After a long, enduring battle, the
the Wolves and the Fab end it here. The question is, well, I, I've heard that this war there was gonna be no more rematches to this. But after this, do you still give them that rematch? Because this was a long match. This was a match I thought was good. Now, I think deserve the second one, but as the Fab are celebrating their tag team championship win, the question is, do the Wolves want a rematch, or are there is their time in WWE ready to come up? We'll see what happens, but as NXT, this is just gonna make NXT a little bit more interesting. New tag team champions. New Young Lions champion. Next match, ladies and gentlemen. I am contagious. I am breaking down. I am nothing. I am no one's fault. I am contagious. I have played with lies. Flesh of a For our main event, I'm being told JBL is scheduled this matchup because he was very impressed with Paige's ability to conduct the, the match well and fair. So that she will be giving, she well, she he is going to give the Divas of NXT another match because of Paige. Oh dear God, yeah, that scream. Paige tonight and three other Divas who I still don't know because this is just an impromptu matchup. It's just been made up right now. A number one contendership for the NXT Women's Championship is on the line. The winner will receive that opportunity. And we're about to see what goes down right here. As here comes it's one of Summer Rae's best friends, you know, forever. One of her BFFs. One of her buddies. Summer. Summer coming out here. We're about to see what happens. I'm just kidding. Summer Rae. Charlotte coming out here. So, Charlotte, Summer Rae, we could be seeing that in the future. I, I don't know. Maybe it happens. Who is this? I don't know who the hell this is because I can't tell the entrance. It's Eva Marie, ladies and gentlemen. Eva Marie coming out here. And uh, Eva Marie looking to make a name for herself here on NXT. It doesn't really get that much time here. JBL definitely keeps backing up the cards against the uh, page. I was trying to be sarcastic there. Eva Marie not very experienced in that ring, but you never know. Maybe Eva Marie gets a chance at the title. Uh, who, who, what? Alexa Bliss? Well, she's coming out here and she's high tapping it. He's like, let's go. I believe that's Alexa Bliss. I, I, from what I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I thought we would get a rematch between Naomi and. I guess JBL didn't see anything wrong with what happened, so we'll see what happens. How, why do you go after? I don't know why even Marie went after Paige. Paige is the mo one of the most skilled ones in here. And look at this right here: double team on Alexa Bliss right here by Charlotte and May and Paige. And look at our oh, bulldog. Come on, that is not smart at all, Miss, Mrs. Marie. You're going to go after Charlotte? Come on, her, her family has in, too much heritage in the WWE, too much heritage in freaking wrestling. You go after her. And remember, it's going to be by pinfall or submission. The only way to eliminate the other diva out of here, the only other woman out of here. And remember, the uh, chance at the NXT Women's Championship is on the line here. And we'll see what happens. As the next match after this is our main event, Adam Rose versus Big E Langston for the NXT Championship. And look at Paige coming up quick right here. What What is the way to get rid of somebody? That's my question. Is it over the top rope? I, I don't know. No one told me how the rules for this one work. Oh, even Marie definitely in trouble. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling I'm being told it's over the top rope uh, style here. And Paige is going. Bye-bye. Oh, Paige keeping herself in this, though. She could have been gone right there as... Uh, 
Charlotte could have gotten rid of her. And now Paige kicking the back of the head of Eva Marie. Paige's like, come on, come on, Eva, you can get up. And I think she can, but she's not getting up. And oh, ho, ho, Paige knocks out Charlotte. Paige sees Alexa Bliss like, come on, we got to get you out of this one too. And uh, Paige has got herself a piece of Alexa Bliss right here. Uh, Bliss is going to go bye-bye if she doesn't find a way to get out of this. Oh, she keeps herself alive here. And suplex. I think Paige knows that, hey, even Marie's going to be my easiest one, so I got to keep her in this one. Get rid of everybody. Keep her in here. And oh, Eva Marie and Paige could be eliminated together. Oh, Paige keeping herself in there, though. Oh, Eva Marie keeping herself in there, too. As the ladies, ladies are trying to keep themselves in here. And uh oh, Eva Marie gets rid of one. Eva Marie sees uh, the Paige is struggling. What's going on? Are they double? Are this like a, a little bit of help right here by Paige and Eva Marie? Are they making sure hey, everything's okay with them? And oh, baby, Eva Marie gets rid of them. It's like they're helping each other out right here. And now Paige is like, yeah, see, that's not the way it works. And even Marie now in trouble. Paige looking to get rid of her. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Here we go. That's it for Eva Marie. Nope, nope. Paige is like, oh, okay. You, you want to stay in this one? You don't want to leave yet? You really want a chance at that title? Paige is like, come on. He's like, come on. It's like, you want a chance at, my, at what is rightfully mine? Paige, who's been wanting that title for so long. And here comes Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss might be on the, uh oh Paige is watching. Paige is watching, waiting for Charlotte to mess up. And right here, if she gets rid of Alexa Bliss, no, 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 Bliss is still in this one. Takes down Imori. Imori is like, what the hell is going on here? And oh, here comes the help. They're getting rid of Alexa, Alexa Bliss. They know it's time to get rid of her. And thanks for coming, Alexa Bliss. But you're not getting another chance. You're not getting a chance at the championship. And oh, picking her up. Paige getting rid of, of Charlotte. Trying to get rid of her here. And she sees it. Look at that right there. Come on, Paige. You got this. Even Marie quietly in the corner. And that's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Paige needs to pay attention to that. And Paige's like, you're getting out of my ring. Paige gets rid of Charlotte. And oh, Eva Marie trying to come up from behind. Eva Marie's telling Paige, come over here, watch this. Oh, no, 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 no. Eva Marie gets rid of Paige. Eva Marie's a new number one contender. My God, what is going on? Paige pissed off beyond all recognition. Pissed off is the word best to describe Paige right now. Best to describe Charlotte. Evil Marie waited in the corner, waited for Paige. And again, it looked like Paige was finally going to get a chance at Summer Ray. But at NXT 4, we will have Eva Marie versus Summer Ray for the NXT Women's Championship. Paige. Another chance blown. When. When will we see it? Paige. This was given to you. This, I'm not going to say it was, but well, I think the tur toughest competition was Charlotte. Other than that, you know, we haven't seen much of Alexa Bliss. And even Marie, come on. But even Marie now the number one contender. Ladies and gentlemen, NXT's woman division. Paige, come on. You win your, you win your matches, but this big moment, you need it. You need to win. And Eva Marie all read everything, guys. Trying to get behind that because what we're going to be seeing in the next couple weeks here on NXT. Main event time up next.
who's ready for this right here is the Exotic Express. And here comes their leader, Adam Rose. Adam Rose, man, a lot of controversy, questioning surrounding why does he deserve the number one contendership match? He's only had one match, two matches in, in, on NXT. Why? I don't know. JBL says, hey, I like this guy. JBL's uh, power kind of going uh, to his head. I don't know what's going on there, but he's got a bunny. He's got a, uh, got a, I guess, I don't know what else he has. He's got a guy in a body suit. He's got Waldo over there with a the nice little hat. And watch out with Adam Rose. Watch this. He drops himself and his people catch him. And they carry him around the ring, I believe. Here it is. Adam Rose like, I'm here, guys. We're here on NXT, and we're making things happen. And Adam Rose about to be thrown back into the ring by his Rosebud. Don't be a lemon. Be a Rosebud. And are you ready for that? As he gets big, he likes it, so... He knows that this playing game, playing all this round, that lollipop has to go as soon as that bell rings because Big E Langston will bring it to you. That's the question. Is Adam Rose serious enough to be NXT champion? And we're about to find out because Big E Langston does not play around. Big E Langston didn't even make his entrance. What the wow. Big E Langston's already out here like, I'm not making an entrance. I don't need one. Biggie Langston's like I'm. I I'm not an entrance kind of guy right now. Another statement could be done by uh, David Woods. Adam Rose's like, okay, guys, this is the NXT Championship. I now I gotta be serious about this. Biggie Langston's like, you want my title? Come on. A hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. Oh, what the? Rusev? What the hell? Big E Langston was just in that ring right now, but the European champion coming after Big E. What the hell? Adam Rose is just as surprised as anybody else. So am I. Adam Rose is like going for the pin. New NXT champion. Big E Langston kicks out, though. But Rusev, what the hell, man? What's going on here? I don't know. I tell I tell me. Tell me what's going on. I don't know. Biggie Langston takes him down though. Biggie Langston and I don't know what the hell that was. I honestly don't know what Rooster came out here to attack Big E for. I guess tonight was the night that Rusev's thinking, you know what? I need to make a little bit of a statement that even the NXT champion is not better than me. And Rooster's just done that by attacking the NXT champion. You're pretty much proving, hey, you know, I'm better than him. As a kick to the side right there by Adam Rose, the Big E has given that attack by Rooster has really given Adam Rose a chance to take advantage. He's taking advantage of it. And this could be a chance of actually winning this championship. And the question is, uh, do you think JBL might have staged this attack against Big E? Do you think that Big E isn't the champion that JBL wants? A kick to the side again. And that's why Rusev was probably told by JBL, hey, go out there and I'll give you a chance at the title. And the champion that JBL wants at the moment is Adam Rose. It could be that, but Biggie Langston's like, uh-uh. Biggie Langston's like, you know, I'm freaking athletic. I'm a freaking beast. You're going to get what you get. And I feel like the company does not want a man like Biggie Langston. And you, you know what I'm trying to say by that. They don't want a guy like Biggie Langston as a champion right now. Not by what he said or anything like that. It's just who he is. And this is in a company that can do that kind of thing to people, man. And Xavier Woods' words, you know, could be true true to what he says. What he has said about uh, this company. But if Biggie Langston still stays a champion and Young Lions champion is Xavier Woods, NXT could be looking to screw both of them over a lot. Takedown right there. Big boot. Biggie Langs is like, I know JBL doesn't want me to be his champion. Well, he wants Adam Rose. That could be a lot of a controversy why Adam Rose is the number one contender. It's like, throw him out there, have him just be there. And Rusev comes out. Rusev and Biggie Langs don't seem to have a, a bad history between them. 
I look at B Salem. Come on, get back in this ring, Adam. You think you can take me out? Adam Rose has not been in this one at all. Here come on. Look, there he comes. There comes Adam Rose right here. Trying his best, man. No, it's not gonna be easy though. He's gotta fight himself. He's gonna have to he's trying to get the he's trying to get the P boy in it, but Biggie Langston again very, very dangerous. You don't I don't know if he knows what he's in it in this one right here. Biggie Langston. I, I knew this wasn't gonna be a five star main event. It was gonna be a message main event by Biggie Langston. I hope that's I think that's what's gonna happen here. That Rose does not seem to be delivering right now. A lot of people think Sami Zayn is over the chance of the championship. And there's a hip toss right there. Sami Zayn might get it now unless he still has a lot of uh, uh, his intentions on the Young Lions championship. As Adam Rose going high risk at the elbow right there. Adam Rose, the Rosebuds are now here. And they're hanging on the back, hopefully ready to celebrate when he wins the championship or if he wins the championship. As here comes Biggie Johnson. Again, he saw that Adam Rose getting himself going. The fans are behind Adam Rose right now. So that's one thing the fathers will see here on NXT. Adam Rose, yes, the party ender. The, oh, baby, puts, him, puts the party down. One, two, new NXT champion. Oh, kick out by Biggie Langston. Biggie Langston could have lost the title right there. I thought he lost it. Biggie Langston's like, ah, oh, yes, you guys. I'm taking people down, taking names here. Biggie Langston's like, I do what I need to do. Punches coming to the face of Adam Rose. Look at Biggie's strength, though. Punching again, Adam Rose. And that attack by Rusev does not look like he, it's not even affecting him anymore. It looked like at the beginning it did, but now it looks like Biggie has found he's found that uh, thing he's found that thing that he needed for this one. As the NXT championship is on the line. Adam Rose needs to find a way to not let Rusev uh, to not let Big E be in control. And this could be it. Adam Rose looking for this looking for that pin right there. He's got him. A kick out though by Adam Rose. And Adam Rose trying to deliver these right here. Trying to deliver this, and here comes Big E. Big E takes him down. Oh, man. Big E Langston takes him down. Big E Langston's like, yeah, see, you guys are ready for this? This is called the big ending. And I don't think he's done. Big E Langston's like, yeah, see, I'm not done. I'm going to make a statement. You can't stop me. Big E Langston, another big ending, and... Adam Rose, I think he's going to be laid out, man. Even with the th yeah, third one, he's laid out. Either way, he's been laid out since the first one. Adam Rose out like a light. Biggie Langston still going to be your NXT champion after this. Biggie Langston wins. What a, I'm not going to say what a match, but that was exactly what everyone expected. Biggie Langston has been on the roll. Adam Rose. Not much has been seen of him. I thought that could have been something to pay for advantage, but Biggie Langston is just an unstoppable force. No matter what you throw at him, he'll get over. He'll he'll climb over that mountain. Throw him a hundred pieces of throw. May give him. He they put a hundred foot wall of crap in front of him. Still takes it down. As much as some people don't want to like Big E and Xavier Woods, they have a point. You know they're working their asses off for this, and they're getting. NXT mode a little weird. Uh, Biggie Langston with the win. Uh, Biggie Langston picks up the win. He's still your NXT champion. And great, great job to NXT stars here tonight. We will see you at NXT versus WWE. Psych, we will actually see you tomorrow night on NXT. No, nah, we will see you on Wednesday Night Divas tomorrow night. Biggie Langston is still your champion. I got a lot of editing to do for this thing because Universe Mode decided, hey, NXT 3, why not just make it so crazy? As you, I can't wait to see how NXT looks next week after the chaos of NXT versus WWE. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the NXT 3. Biggie Langston is still your NXT champion. That's all I got to say.